some of these pictures now will be of people that you may know or Did you say that by some Bernie? Is that McBurney's? This is a McBurney's, Ed McBurney and his wife. You'll probably see pictures of different people. Some of you will know and some. And this is a canyon here in Redmond. See Mount Jefferson in the background? This is a canyon just off of our property. They used to have a place out here, evidently. And our house would just be behind them. And here is the uh, Oregon City area, the falls of Oregon City. So we have shots now that aren't necessarily a Weezer, but just random shots we thought you would enjoy that were in the past that some of you were involved in. The Oregon City Paper Mill, I presume. That's Crown Lamet. Excuse me. I guess that hasn't changed any. The river's still the same in the falls, I presume. And now we're back in uh, seeing the mountains here. I couldn't identify that mountain. Maybe you could. This is Seattle area. Was that Mount Rainier then that we were looking at a minute ago? <clears throat> Probably Ed was coming home on furlough when he was in Seattle, I would guess, and he took this. You can see people with, in uniform. Cars 40 years ago. <laughs> Ed said some of the latest cars 40 years ago, and I imagine Seattle looks a lot different than that now. <laughs> now, are we back in Weezer? Looks like the ranch. The ranch. <clears throat> That was Bobby on that. So it's back and white. It is. Mm -hmm. And is that sugar beets? Yep. And sugar beets. This is old because it's black and white film. To market, to market. I guess these have already been eaten as sugar. Someone who's interested in agriculture, I'm sure. Some of the rest of you may be bored with it. Someone's getting a haircut there, and I'll bet it's David Sala, sure enough. <clears throat>
It's a professional barber, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was your mother's great grandson. Yeah, that was good. Looks very yeah. handsome, doesn't he? Yeah, great grandson. Wonder how much the haircuts cost then. <laughs> tape is mainly people that you used to know. That's Mrs. Braid from Alfalfa. I don't know who the man was. Did you? Maybe you'll recognize them and know them better than we do, hopefully. Here's Ellen Braid. She came to see us last year, or year before last. And she's been writing, saying that she's coming again. She lives up in Washington. This is yours truly, myself. Our house in Bend, where I lived. This would be your 41. Who's that, Ed? I have no idea. <clears throat> I hope it's somebody you know. I don't. Portland, maybe? There's Ed McBurney. Oh, that's his wife, isn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably near Oregon City. That was probably Portland. That's his mother, Mrs. McBurney. Probably some of his children. Do you know who they are? There's Jean. It's onions, it looks like. She looks very pretty there, doesn't she? She's a pretty girl. <clears throat> Let you tell us where this is, and we can't decide. Well, Juniper's just been pictures that Ed took someplace where he was going through. People in Oregon City. People in Oregon City. Printed the wrappers for our they printed the wrappers for the sausage that Ed sold, that the Longs sold. <coughs> Dr. Martindale Chiropractor had said he saved his life. Grocery. The man that had the groceries. Ed says you'll know these people. Are they from Oregon City? Yeah. Oregon City. That was a mechanic who did my work in the car. A mechanic who worked on the car. That's the mechanic's wife. His wife. Bubby. Bubby. Never recognized him. Who's that? Uh, that's a boy of somebody we knew. Somebody from Sprints from Seattle. What's their name? Oh. Park Rapids, Minnesota. This must be where Clara was. I guess Ed visited there when he was coming on a furlough. Those Clara's children. There's Clara. Looks like shoe polishing, is it? <coughs> Shining his boots. Ed thinks it's on a train. Probably he was on a furlough, maybe when you were left from yeah. Minnesota. 
And now we're back in Idaho, it looks like, on the island farm. Bobby driving, the, looks like a, like he's... Uh, Spring tooth What? Spring tooth arrow. A spring tooth harrow. That means you're cultivating the ground, getting it ready. Here's the cow, and here comes Bobby again. And there's Mr. Long, senior, his horse. They had some unique hats, didn't they? <coughs> That a friend of Bobby's, I guess. Is that Mr. Long up there? Yep. Mr. Long Sr. up there pitching hay. And that's Bobby. Yeah. You said by the hat. I'm wrong. Ed said I could identify him by the hat, so I went ahead and said it was Bobby, and it isn't. And that was Richard, wasn't it? Here's Mr. Long driving his team as they're plowing. No, it's not a plow. Is it a harrow? Leveling land. I don't know where this is. Maybe people outside the church and... If you look closely, you'll see Mrs. Long here in the group. I this is a windmill in Kansas that Ed brought back here. He and Claire were on a trip back to Kansas, and she'll probably remember this. This is in Kansas now. And he hopes to get it up here sometime. So far, it's still in the box here at our house. This is back in Kansas, near Idana. I'm sure you recognize this area. It's near Longford. Bubby's farm. Bubby's farm. I thought that might be Clara walking there with the red bandana on. I don't know. And there's the old, is that a green elevator? Longford Grain Elevator. <clears throat> part of Bubby's pond system. There's part of Bubby's pond system. And I don't know if that's Bubby and Clara or not. She'll probably know. We just saw walking by there. Charlie Wood, from whom, for whom Bubby used to work. He has a nice smile, doesn't he? They're working on taking down the uh, windmill, aren't they, now? It's a nice shot with the tree branches and yeah, now it's down. When we get it up at our place, you can come and see it. Some of the people there. <clears throat> There's, there's Wanda. 
and some of their family or children, I guess. Here, now in Salt Lake City, they came through, Clara and Ed came that way on their way back. That's Rob, and there's Clara, Clara and Rob, Julie, at our house, that's our truck in the back of the garage. <clears throat> It's go it's coming right next though if you want if you're not in a hurry. Well it's the next step, next roll. Uh-huh, but that rolls almost. This is our lights and our and Christmas lights. There's a picture of Doug and Carol. It's too bad this was double exposed. Can't see uh, Doug very well. They've been visiting us and they're getting in the car. There's Carol and somebody on the tower. Joyce Hallman and Oliver are visiting us. No. Caldwell, Idaho, where we were visiting Clara, and uh, they're about to assist with the birth of a calf. The neighbor's cow was having a calf, and so this was a real experience for Jimmy, and David was there too. There's David. There's Jimmy. There's Clara. I'm not sure. There's Clara's uh, Nita, Frank. Who's that? I don't know who that is. There's maybe the near. There's Richard. Maybe those were neighbor children, probably. I suppose those are neighbor children. There's Nita, there's David, there's Richard. I should say this is uh, for special parental guidance. <laughs> there's Clara. Jimmy's helping now. There's the calf. Area. I don't get to see these ahead of time. There's Rosalie. We're now and her children. We're now up at Port Angeles visiting uh, Clara. And there's Rosalie and her children. That's. Jeannie, I mean uh, Kathy. Beautiful pictures of the uh, 
flowers there. And this is uh, the area in Port Angeles at the Forest Service. Museum there, we went, enjoyed. Aunt Clara took us there. Here we're going on a walk. That was our family. We think Clara was taking us around to see the sights in Port Angeles. And here we're seeing the ships that come in there, unloading lumber. One just before this, look, Ellen, I think it's Richard Hansen. He's visiting and he's giving a ride to Steve. That's Ed's nephew. Now he's giving Jimmy a ride. This is in our property. This is a road coming up to our house. Real rustic and woodsy looking, isn't it? Clara's. We went to Idaho over to Caldwell where Aunt Clara lived to visit her for Thanksgiving. And of course, uh, David loves to make this. Having a ride with, uh, I wonder if that's Julie. I think it is. On Aunt Clara's horse. And here's Nita. This is at Caldwell where Aunt Clara lived. Well, there's David having a great time. And here comes uh, Rosalie. And that must be Julie in that red uh, plaid. And there's Nita with the blue jacket on, and that's uh, Rosalie. Sparky having her, I'm sure, her very first horseback ride with Rosalie. She looks very happy. And Nita with an accordion. And there is Ellen, Eleanor. And no, that's Eleanor. The other one was um, Carol. And this looks like some of the, the Jean's family. Kids playing together, the Salas playing together. Uh-huh, and there's Clara, Rick Frank. And you can see that we're Aunt Clara's. We visited everybody we could when we were home. That's Sparky on Aunt Clara's horse, and there was David, and there was Jimmy there. And it showed Clara and Frank. <clears throat> this is in Caldwell, Idaho. And there's Jimmy. Picnic. Yeah, I'm sure that's Clara's. Wasn't that? That's Nita. And that's uh, uh, Rosie. And there's uh, Carol. And here comes uh, uh, Richard, I bet. Richard and David. So we've gone to Idaho after being in Redmond. That's Frank. This is their house in Caldwell, Idaho. Our, our car parked there. And there's Jim on one of Aunt Clara's horses. There's Aunt Clara.
And there's Aunt Claire, one of Aunt Claire's daughters. That's Rosalie, Julie. And there's Rosalie again. I don't have Anita. Farm on Dad's and his family's farm on the Snake River. It was E. W. Long and Sons. There's one of the ladies that helped. Sugar beets. Bobby driving. That hat on. And there's that lady again. I've forgotten her name. She and her, there's Bobby. She and her husband came every morning and helped the Longs, and they were there for meals and so forth. And there's David riding the horse. He's, he must be out at Aunt Clara's. We must be on our way back to Oregon from Oklahoma, and he's at Aunt Clara's. Yes, there's Aunt Clara and one of her daughters and David driving the tractor. more pictures that dad took and I would say this is David and Sparky visiting Aunt Clara and riding her horse. That's that's Rosie. Well, I don't know if that was Julia I guess. Sparky was down on the uh, walking on the ground and there's David. There am I with Sparky. We're getting in a train for a train ride. Um, I thought this was starting with Yakutat but it's not.